Good morning, students. Uh, I am Vijay Sir. Today I am going to teach you social science of standard five. Today we will talk about lesson number ten about the natural disasters and mitigations. Understand? Here we will talk about the natural disasters and mitigations. So as we know that, dear students, as we know that that our nature has provided us so many things, different types of things. Okay, and our nature is creator of the world. Okay, and he is only creator of the all living things. But as we know that our nature is creator, but he is destroyer also. So this, so that's why sometimes what happens uh, due to you know natural calamities. Okay, uh, different types of things occur. That is flood, droughts, cyclone. Okay. So these calamities are known as the disasters. Understand? So now we will talk about the, the first topic that is floods. Okay. So dear students, generally floods occur when there is heavy rain. So when uh, during rain, uh, river when during rain, during heavy rain, the river overflows. Overflows and floods surrounding areas. Understand? And it causes great damage to our earth. Understand? So the first point is that so due to heavy rainfall or due to flood, uh, excessive uh, loss of life and property. And in this time, during flood, during heavy rain, houses are washed away. Houses, trees are washed away. Okay, from that area. And catchers also, large number of catchers that also die. Okay, and large number of catchers also die, and crops are destroyed during the flood. Understand? So during in this time, during the flood or during the heavy rainfall, so uh, we find number of means so many number of death. Okay, death of many people because of snake bites. Okay, and people they suffer from different types of diseases. Okay, so during flood, people they suffer from different diseases, and due to fever or due to infection or due to snake bites, they begin to die. Understand? Okay, and the that is also point destruction of crops. Okay. During the rainfall or during heavy rainfall, so uh, there is life, there is loss of you know, crops also, and then uh, okay, and people they are not able to uh, survive there. And that's why they migrate from one place to another place, and they also lost their job. Okay, that's why loss of jobs, and they migrate from one place to another place in the search of jobs. Okay, so these are the three. So dear students, now you understood about the floods. Okay, okay. So now we will talk about the next topic. Okay. So dear student, I was saying about that. Uh, now we will talk about the droughts. Okay. So dear students, uh, the excess of rainfall or heavy rainfall that causes floods. Okay. Why? The scarcity of rainfall that causes droughts. Okay. So as we know that. Uh, most of the people in India or uh, most of the farmers they depend on agriculture. Okay, they depend on monsoon uh, rainfall. Okay, so that's why when it causes, then what happens? Uh, it causes also that the scarcity of food. Okay, the scarcity of food and the starvation of cattle and food. Understand? So when there is drought. Means uh, due to drought, people are not able to uh, grow any types of crops or they are not able to do anything. That's why uh, there is scarcity of food. That's why there is scarcity of food and uh, starvation and death of large number of cattle and large number of people also. And they suffer from you know malnutrition. Okay, and uh, uh, that's why uh, they begin to die. Okay, people begin to die. So now that is drought. Okay. The next topic we will talk about that uh, cyclones. Okay, cyclones occur due to the low pressure system. Okay, generally it is more frequent in coastal areas of Bengal, Gujarat, Odisha, okay, Andhra Pradesh. That is, and it occurs due to low pressure system in coastal areas. Understand? So that is in this time during cyclone, the strong winds that uh, flow at the speed of that blow at the speed of 100 km per hour 
and it uproots the trees also, it uproots the electric poles and also it uproots the you know telephone lines, understand? And due to the cyclone, uh, we find large number, we find that it's death of large number of people. Okay. And there is destruction of life and properties. Understand? So due to cyclone also. So due to cyclone also, it uproots trees also, it uproots electric poles, telephone lines. Understand? Okay, now you are understanding very nicely. Okay? So now we will discuss about the next topic. Understand? So dear student, I was talking about that. We will discuss here about that. Earth plan. Okay? Earth plan and uh, uh, one more thing is that is landslides. Okay? Earth plan. Okay, sometimes there is uh, sacking or trembling in the earth's surface. So in the earth crust, that is known as the earth plan. Okay, uh, it is called an earth plan. So due to earth plan also, uh, there is destruction of life and properties and road get damaged, okay, and houses are also destroyed by the earth plan. Understand? So in this case, what happens? We find that large number of which large number of people they begin to die, or you know, uh, that is houses and people also that got buried under the ground. Okay, so houses are destroyed and people and cattle are buried under the ground. Understand? So this causes also great damage to the earth surface and it breaks roads, it breaks railway lines, it breaks tracks, okay, and it, yeah, and it breaks roads also, houses also. So uh, due to these types of conditions, if the people begin to die or uh, people uh, are not able to survive there in this condition, okay. So that is, so uh, I was saying about that, about uh, also about a landslide, understand. So in landslide what happens, when a large amount of rock or when a large amount of soil that fall from the great height, that is known as the landslide, okay. So due to landslide also, uh, people also, large number of cattle also, and uh, on the road, that is the road also uh, got damaged under the ground and when people they uh, go from that place with car or bike, they also went under the, that also uh, uh, got under the ground, okay, that, that also went into the ground, okay. So it also causes great damage to the people and great damage to the life and properties, okay. So these are the natural disasters that causes many, you know, distractions uh, distractions of life and properties, distractions of, you know, uh, roads and houses. Okay, so, dear students, it is our part one video and uh, in part two, we will discuss about the mitigation and we will also discuss about that role of armed forces uh, during natural disasters. Understand? Okay, so till then, thank you, have a nice day. Okay, bye.